What is happening, y'all? Listen up. So, the butcher called me and totally screwed up our order. We had confirmed with them twice about our cows. I said, I got three beef back in May. Three beef I need to bring into the butcher. Um, and then we confirmed like six months later. They were like, cool, three beef. No, they said like, oh, we only got you down for two. And then they confirmed again just today and said, hey, they said, we got an opening for a spot. Do you want to take it a little early uh, for that one cow you have? I said, what one cow? I got three cows. And they're like, oh, we got you down for one cow in February. I said, listen, I don't know what you want me to do. I got three cows. They need to go to the butcher. Anyway, so they're like, okay, let's, let me see if, if we can do it. Call me back. Yes, we can do it. So now I had to go to the property and get these guys situated to the trailer. So I put some feet in there. I parked the trailer at their gate and now they're just getting used to it for the next couple days before they're gonna get locked in the slamma. So that's the idea. This is a good thing you wanna do before bringing your cows to the butcher. If you're doing this that morning when they need to go, you see how skittish they are? As soon as I get in there, you'll see, watch this. They're gonna back out. Yep. Come on, get in there. Yep. See? Scared. They gotta get used to the trailer. They gotta get used to it, or else they're never gonna go in. Now we got lucky the first time we when we moved into this property because that was that was rough, but we got them in here and we moved them. But yeah, now yeah, last time we didn't have a a strict time limit, right? We had a little bit of wiggle room. Um, whereas this time, you got the window from seven in the morning to seven thirty. You got to bring your cows into butcher, and so there's no uh, messing around. We got to get this right. So we'll let them get used to it for a couple days, and hopefully by then they're cool to just jump in, or at least I can. They'll be at the head of the trailer. I notice I put some feed at the front of the trailer. And watch, even when I come up here, they're probably gonna be freaking out. I put, well, not this one, he's the, well, put it at the front and then I put some at the back. And then in the next couple days, I'm gonna come here and refill at the back, or sorry, the front of the trailer, so that they continue to kind of make their way in and figure out, oh, nothing's bad, nothing bad's happening when I get in there, so it's safe. Um, little do they know, it's not safe. And they're going to my freezer. You smell it. Come on, get in there. <laughs> Who's gonna be brave enough? Like, no, you can't go in there. Come on. I need all three of you.
guys spooking for? Huh? What are you guys getting all spooked for? Huh? Don't be spooked. See, any sort of noise, they get freaked out. This one's fear of missing out right here. Come on, get in there, Sally. S silly. S Swanson. So, I mean, you saw how long that took. I mean, one of them's still not even in here um, all the way, right? And <clears throat> still hesitant to come in all the way. These other two are buffeting it up, um, but that one's not quite in. So, I mean, you got a little bit of time to get these guys used to the trailer. So, I mean, that's the idea. You got to get them to love grain. Um, you can't give it to them all the time. Otherwise, they're going to get so used to it that it's not going to be something special. Uh, but right now, grain is real special for them. They get a little bit every now and then. And they, they eat it like crack. So um, <clears throat> you put that grain in the front of the trailer. Come on, 15. Get in there. Oh... Come on, he's like, please give me some out here. Now, if you want it, go in there. Um, so we got a couple days. Um, it's Wednesday now, Friday morning. I gotta make sure they're in the trailer. So, with that being said, honestly, it's oh, maybe it's going. It's like, forget this, I'm in. Oh, come on, you're almost there. What you could do at this stage now, if you can get close enough, you can kind of push it. It'll go probably towards its friends, or it might backfire and go back behind uh, against you. So um, that's the uh, that's the nerve-wracking part. I'd probably wait, unless because once you do it once, once they get spooked, you know that. Um, like I'll go close. You'll see. See that? I, it's constantly watching. So once it's spooked to a point where it freaks out, um, it's going to be hard to get it in there So a, a second time. So sometimes you only got one shot, okay? Sometimes that's all you get. One other thing, make sure your electric fence is off so you don't go accidentally shocking your boot. Hey? Anyway, that's how you get cows in the trailer. I love keeping cattle. Um, now, we don't keep a whole bunch. It's just a few hit. What are you licking? Licking that booty? <laughs> You're sick. Uh, I love keeping cattle. They're the easiest keepers, I think, uh, out of all, I mean, next chickens, of course. But even chickens, you always got to worry about predators with cattle. Honestly, there's not a whole lot you got to do with cattle. Uh, that's why I like keeping them. Um, I'll kind of give you guys a video, a little update of kind of what my little operation here. Uh, I'll probably make a video about that and give you guys some insight into how I do it. Probably the easiest way. Um, so anyway, that's it for now. Just a short video to kind of show you what's up, how to get your cows in the trailer, a few tips and tricks that I've learned. Uh, but I'm no expert, so if you got any uh, tips or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, hit the like if you love me. Peace! Alright, <laughs> it's the next morning and uh, just take a look at the weather, will ya? Right? Um, it's not great so I'm glad we got um, the cows here uh, what I did was um, I got them loaded up yesterday right but I'm like look the weather looks like it's gonna be nasty so um, I'm gonna go drive them over to the butchers and just park them in the lot you know until the next day and then my wife will drive me over there the next morning instead of driving with a you know a trailer full of, full of cattle um, in the snow so I'm glad I did that now I'm in line waiting to get my turn going and I'm next it looks like after this guy so whew, what an adventure what an adventure 
All right, looks like I'm up. I should get out of the way, huh? Ah, I'll be here. Come on, come on, go, come on. 